Hey there, my KK Ministry friends and followers and fellow Christian brothers and sisters, L.A. Smith here from KKMinistry.com. Just want to share with you real quick some stories I came across. Uh, first story, I'm pretty sure you heard about it. The three Israeli teens that were abducted were found dead, unfortunately. The bodies of the youths, including one with U.S. citizenship, were found just north of Hebron. Quote, they were kidnapped and murdered in cold blood by animals. Haretz quoted Netanyahu as saying at a hastily arranged security cabinet meeting, in the name of the whole of Israel, I ask to tell the dear families, to the mothers, the fathers, the grandmothers, and the grandfathers, the brothers and sisters, our hearts are bleeding. The whole nation is crying with them. The leader's angry words came hours after the search for the Iyah, Yifa, 19, Galad, Shar, 16, and Natali, Frankel, also 16, who were snatched while hitchhiking. Let us all pray for the families of these three young teens. Of course, needless to say, they are going to need it. The other story I wanted to share with you is another very sad story involving a young person. A 12-year-old boy in San Diego was found in his tent dead from a gunshot wound to the head. They don't know if it was self-inflicted or they're saying an accident. They, I don't think you can rule out that it could also be a murder, a homicide. And the other story I wanted to sh share with you, and I'm pretty sure you heard about it, is the 5-4 to four Supreme Court decision in favor of companies who have a religious objection to providing or paying for contraceptives. The justices' 5-4 to four decision splitting conservatives and liberals means that the Obama administration must search for a different way of providing free contraceptions to women who are covered under the health insurance plans of objecting companies.